my name is Pauline Newman. I hope you all are doing well. I'd like to share with you six lipsticks that I picked up from Lisa Aldridge. She is a uh, celebrity makeup artist and I first heard about her through Michelle Wong. So I picked up six of her lipsticks that I want to try on for you and here, here they are. And I purchased these last year and I received a little um, card with just samples of her foundation. I haven't tried these yet, but I'm really excited to try, try them. So let's begin. I picked up Velvet Myth, Velvet Jazz, Velvet Morning, Velvet Ribbon, Velvet Carnival, uh, and Velvet Dragon. Now, per her website, she says, these are my iconic velvet lipsticks. Paint your lips as an artist would with these highly pigmented true velvet lipsticks described as a phenomenon of work of art. Each bullet has the appearance of beautifully plush velvet fabric that has to be seen to believe, to be believed. These are matte lipsticks revolutionized with a saturated technicolor formulation and a creamy texture with a slight sheen that has a 3D and luscious, not a flat matte. So intensely pigmented, it's easy to create either a one swipe graphic lip statement or pat gently for the ultimate subtle lip stain. Cutting edge lab tech has enabled the creation of a very long wearing, non drying cream, which feels lightweight, silky and comfortable to wear. Well, let's see. First one I'm going to try is Velvet Morning and here is the box. Really, really clean clean beautiful canvas and here is the bullet I do like this it's very clean and you know this is just straight up my alley right so here is the swatch isn't that gorgeous okay so I'm going to wipe off my um, gonna wipe off my I'm sorry I'm filming by the window and someone just passed uh, this is a divine rose lip gloss by Pat McGrath so I'm going to wipe this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to try Velvet Morning, which is this one. I'm excited for this. Because as you know, I do love red. She's right about the one swipe. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh my gosh. I love this color. What do you think? Look at me feeling myself. Oh, this is me. And she is absolutely right. The one swipe. It's comfortable on the lips. And there is, it is not a complete matte. Oh my. 
Oh, Pauline. We'll be going out tonight. No, I'm not. But what do you think? Do you like it? I love this color. This is absolutely beautiful. Let me read what it says about Velvet Morning. It is a hot, hot and fiery bright orange red inspired by waking up in a tropical place and seeing orange red sky on the horizon. And I also love Nancy Sinatra's uh, song, Some Velvet Morning. And she says, this is the ultimate pick me up shade. Oh, she's, she's certainly right. Cause this, this is gorgeous. Wow. It's certainly creamy. It's hydrating. Oh, and this is paraben free. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this. And I'm kind of feeling myself too. Okay, let's move on. We're going to try Velvet Jazz next. So they're all in the same um, packaging, the box that they're housed in. Oh, and I'm just, let me take my watch off because I am messing up my, my Apple watch. Okay, so now I am going to try Velvet Jazz. Same bullet component. And there's the color. Love that. And let's see what it says about Velvet Jazz. This is a muted, earthy brick red inspired by the 1930s red lipsticks in her vintage collection. Saturated and highly pigmented lipstick with a beautiful, true velvet effect on the surface of the bullet, which looks exactly like velvet uh, fabric. Okay. I'm going to take this off. I don't want to, but dear Lord, that's hot. I'm going to take this off and I'll be back to try Velvet Jazz. Okay, so now we're back. We're going to try Velvet Jazz. Oh, dear Lord. Do you see that color? Now look at it here. Do you see how stunning that color is? Okay, let's do this. Oh my God, this is so dreamy to put on. It's definitely, she's right, it's not matte. They're comfortable. Oh. What a stunning color. Now, I don't know if this color is for me, but it is certainly a beautiful color. What do you think? I mean, I wasn't the best at putting it on, but it is such a rich and deep color. It is just so pretty. Again, don't know if it's beautiful on me, but wow, I'm glad I have it. What do you think? Again, this is Velvet Jazz. Let me know in the comments which one you think looks best on me. Wow, it is stunning though. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and then we move on to the next one. We're back, we're gonna try Velvet Ribbon, which is this color. There it is right there.
and it is said to be a vibrant universal classic neutral blue red that's my kind of red this is the one that classic this is the one classic pillar box red that every woman needs I named it red, velvet ribbon because when I think of this shade I always think of a velvet bow so let's go oh on a, the two I've tried so far this glides on the best I just love how rich they are. They are. Not the best at the application, but you get the point. What do you think? This is a velvet ribbon. I am, I am just, um, I am feeling myself. This one is just lovely worst application ever but still we understand we get the point gorgeous lip they're so easy on though it just slides right on and it's very soft and it doesn't feel like i'm wearing anything i love that okay so the next one i'm going to try is velvet dragon So I'm going to wipe this off and we're going to come back and try Velvet Dragon. See you in a few so minutes. So let's try Velvet Dragon. This is a burnt, soft, rusty red with warm yellow undertones. Here it is. And there it is. You do see a pattern, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So far, this one is the drier of all of them. Still creamy, still very creamy. What do you think? Which is your favorite so far? So that's Velvet Dragon. I'm, I'm really feeling that. Okay, next is Velvet Myth. Let me take this off. We'll come back, we'll try Velvet Myth. Can, can you tell I'm feeling this one as well? But you let me know what is your favorite so far. So I'm gonna take this off and we'll do Velvet Myth when I come back. Velvet Myth, and here it is. And there's the color, the swatch. And this one is said to be a wildly vivid mulberry shade inspired by a vintage kimono Lisa bought on her first trip to Japan. Okay. Velvet Myth.
began to say, like the one before this, what was it, Jazz? This one is a, a bit drier formula, but still comfortable. What do you think? This is Velvet Myth. I, I do like it. Thoughts? Comments? Pauline, this is not a porn video. Stop doing that. Okay, so that was Velvet Myth. And the next one is Velvet Carnival. So excited. I'm going to remove this and then we will come back and, and try on Velvet Carnival. But let me just take one last look. Okay, stop doing that. Um, I'll be right back. Velvet Carnival. And let me swatch that. And there it is. And it's said to be a pop art pink that wears its party girl heart on the sleeve. So let's give it a try. This one is not as um, rich in pigment as the others. It's kind of disappointing. I expected this to be so vibrant. Yeah. What do you think? This one, I have to say, is not my favorite, and I'll tell you why. I expected it to be more vibrant, vibrant, more uh, richer in pigment. I wanted that stark pop blue pink that, not necessarily neon, but I needed it va 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 voom pink you know a drop dead gorgeous pink it's still beautiful however it is the driest of the formulas and it is it still has a moisture in it it still has moisture in it but this one is patchy i can see it on the lips Do you see, it's not, it's not as vibrant as I expected it to. Nevertheless, it's still, it's still beautiful. But as, I just needed it to be richer and deeper in pigment, just so rich that that one swipe, I would just be like, oh, oh, you know, but, I have to say, this is probably the best, the best lipstick formula I have tried. This is probably the best. And I say that now because I haven't worn lipstick in months. But this is a fantastic formula. The pigment, it's rich, it's creamy. Although matte, they make a statement. They are just simply fantastic, spectacular, gorgeous color, very rich, very, it makes, when you put on lipstick like these, not only be, are they rich in pigment, but they make you feel so womanly, so sexy. 
it just awakens that tigress in you. Do you, understand, do you know what I mean? Something that has been lying dormant for years just suddenly awakens. It's just, mm, just, just, I, I love it. I, I, I love it. I, fantastic formula. I can't wait to try her uh, foundation. But so far, Lisa Eldridge, wow, fantastic. I love these lipsticks. And although it's, I've tried six, my lips are not screaming, I'm on fire. My lips are just moisturized and comfortable. I absolutely love her formula. Do you own any of these Lisa Eldridge lipsticks? I mean, oh, these are fantastic. And I may go back for some more. But these are absolutely fantastic. I recommend these. If you haven't tried Lisa Eldridge lipsticks, the you need to try these. At least one. It is so worth it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Simply pay it forward until next time. Goodbye.